we're live. Let me just close this other screen up. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for joining me, Natalie. Oh, thank you. I'm glad to be here. I feel so fun. I always love talking to Diana anyway, so <laughs> great opportunity. Cool. I love it. I feel so blessed. Um, Natalie, for those watching, Natalie is, well, okay, Natalie is many things, <laughs> but we'll start with um, Natalie is in the current round of School of Love's inner circle in the relationship group. Um, you yourself, Natalie, are a coach. How do you, what's your, the title you go by? Uh, your goddess within. Okay, your god, and, and any specific title for you, or just leader of the goddesses? Uh, luxury transformation coach. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, but well, authentic, I, authentic luxuries. <laughs> There's a difference. Yeah, there is a difference. <laughs> yes, I, I, one of the things I actually love about the inner circle is the kind of women it attracts, and then there is such like a wise circle. Mm -hmm. So the conversations are rich. And obviously you add so much to that. I'm, if we just like take it all the way back, mm -hmm. what kind of like pulled you or drew you or magnetized you to School of Love and the Inner Circle? You know, it, this is like such a fun story. I flew to Colorado to meet with this um, master, spiritual master, specifically around channeling mm -hmm. and I discovered channels and I started I couldn't you know sometimes I was off and sometimes I was on like I, I couldn't understand it and I, I needed an expert to kind of help me um, understand it better yeah and I remember him telling me which was like at the time was a blow I felt like oh that's <laughs> not cool I flew all the way here to hear that but he said um You've got so much power. We all do. We all have that gift. But the problem is, is your heart is so close that I'm afraid that if I share that with you too much, too soon, too fast, and it's not going to be a, a service to you or this world. Yeah. And I, and at the time I was like, what are you like, excuse me, <laughs> like I flew all this way. And we all want that. We want the gift, right? We all want the juicy stuff we want, but with it comes the shadow side <laughs> and it was basically he was telling me it's time to stop ignoring your shadow it's time to embrace it though it's not a bad thing right you are seeing it as a bad thing and that's why so the funny thing was I just I don't, I don't even remember like I was just kind of like googling different things mm -hmm. and at the time like I had met the love of my life I manifested so many things in my life and but I also knew our paradigms were starting to rise in the relationship. Yeah, as right? they, mm -hmm. exactly. Right. So, and I saw your name come across and I'm like, okay, I'm going to like sign up for her email stuff, but I've seen a lot of relationship coaches and, you know, especially when you have awareness, you're like, yeah, I already know foundational stuff. Right. right? That's sorry, the, the surface stuff. I'm yeah. looking for something much, much, much deeper, right? And then I see your emails. And the thing is that when you're aware, there's nuggets. And the funny thing is you, you obviously share the surface, but then you always have a nugget of depth in your emails, right? That shows the depth of what you know. And I was like, oof, oof, yeah. Like, you know, and I would just get, but never did I think of like reaching out to you or anything like that. Cause we don't, right. God forbid we follow right. part of us as being pulled. Right. So let's just ignore that part. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden I'm just like, okay, I'm done. I need someone and I'm calling it out. Like I need someone to work with that can help me go the depths of who I am back to authenticity. And I knew I wasn't being completely my authentic self. And I knew that it was because when it came to the emotions of the heart, I, Whenever I go into this fear place, I would avoid, you know? Yeah. And so when you sent like a, and if somebody sent me a message and said, you just want, you know, from a draw, you know, 90 minute consultation with Diana. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I would talk to her, <laughs> you know? And then I started talking to you and you brought me to a place. And the reason why, like, it was a no brainer for me, which is, it's, it's I knew you knew. I wanted to know what you know. Like I knew that part, 
But more importantly, there are a lot of people that know what I don't know, right? Like, let's face it, we're not here to figure it out. We're here to have a beautiful adventure and yes. to grow our own inner gifts. But I knew you knew something specific about how to help me around my integrity, so, you know, with, with, with unconditional love within myself and to open that up, right? Because of the activity that you, we did together. But what was more powerful is I don't open up. Right. But in your presence of nurturing, which I always mention this, oh, like yeah. this being that is so nurturing that it feels so, so safe for me to like share anger, share, because let's face it, like I'm, uh, you know, uh, more of an alpha um, woman. And you've allowed me, and because of that, obviously, the, the, the wrong dominance that I was experiencing in my life, right, mm -hmm. um, was because there was so much anger, mm -hmm. right? And so with you, though, it was like, it didn't, like, I could, like, oh, like, just, and it, you're just, you're, you're, well, this right here, you're, <laughs> you stay, you stay very calm, and, and, and it, it, it is no judgment, there's That's absolutely true. no judgment, and it felt so good, and it felt so, like, I started opening up, and opening up, and opening up, and I'm like, that's all I need, it's just someone that can ask the right questions, yeah, and allow me to go to a place, and they have no judgments, yeah, Right, because we're so judged as women. Yes, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> right, and so your nurturing energy. I was like, oh, I. It was so funny because I I didn't start the call thinking I was working with you. Right, and you just made the offer and it just came out yes. And I'm like, I was surprised because I was like, wait, you're already got like a lot of coaches going on. Like I spent one hundred and ten thousand dollars last year alone and and um in discoveries yeah I love it I can't yeah you know, and I it's every penny was worth it um and so I didn't like oh, another coach like that. Didn't but it, it, it just came out and because it came from my sacral and and it was the best decision I've ever made obviously yeah you know one of the things that I love about you like really actually really love about you is you always like you're like in the sessions you're like absorbing and I see you like you know I'm always scanning the room and just feeling what yeah. it is and making sure yeah. everyone is getting what they need and you'll be so like silently observing and I know like now that I know you I know oh my god like Natalie is just like downloading and percolating and absorbing and simmering and then you come out with something so profound that you learn about yourself in the last like 10 minutes of discussion it actually surprised it takes me it doesn't it, it blows me away every single time you do it and shannon and i talk about this shannon is the, for those yeah, who don't yeah, know, yeah, yeah, in our group. Yeah. and like i'll always be like natalie just continues to blow me away like it'll be like the silence and if i didn't know you i'd be like oh is she is she getting what she needs here is she you know and then it's like you come out and it's like Phew. so <laughs> i don't know if it's, it's like putting it's like I tell like because I, I I coach a lot of coaches yeah and they they know a lot about things that I don't know but I'm yeah. not there to teach them what I you know I'm there to teach them right. the parts that and it's not really teaching right it's just together going on an adventure together you yeah. know that's how I see it but it's to take off the coach hat and put on the student hat yeah and and that's the best way I can explain it because like all these beautiful masters that I work with, if I had my coach hat, then I'm expecting them to fit my structures and to fit. And now I'm not learning. I'm not growing. I'm not expanding. But what I love about your group, yeah, is just everyone, like you give, like everybody just opens and shares so much, like the depths of it. And also everybody out there is very much like, oh, this program's for my, my, my husband, and this is a perfect program for this person. This is perfect for this person. We always like refer that everything's perfect for our kids, every, but not ourselves. And whereas for me, I put on the hat of no, if I'm really going to be an impact in this world, I need to be a student. I need to be a smart follower. 
yeah. and you're not right and smart follower doesn't mean follow everything it means no. just 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 be in it embrace it we get to try it on and then we can and then we can take it off and say no, no I, I don't like that like clothes you know yeah. you try it on and that's what I do like I constantly try on and and the the where you're able to bring the women is so, so deep. And you've taught me how to be, and, and I always say this, like you just being so nurturing. Mm -hmm. Us women, we've been brought in the mothering environment, which is masculine energy. It's not even mothering no. and, and it's not feminine. And whereas with you, it was like teaching me the, this beautiful, true, feminine, nurturing mother energy, not that other stuff that doesn't really do it. If anything, it, it prevents us from growing right. and exploring the depths of who we are because of that beautiful feminine energy uh, allows us to go deeper and deeper and deeper. And the, with the, with the, with the ladies come out with, it's just like, whoa, it's this, I know. Oh my goodness. And it's funny because at the beginning, everybody's very like, yeah, like, it's like out. Yeah, like, yeah, they don't go deep. And then, <laughs> then you give it a, like a month or so, so, it just starts going deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. And now, like, it's, it's beautiful. And it's we beautiful. still have like a solid month and a half, if not more. Yeah. I love so much of what you're saying. Actually, something I want to touch on. Because sometimes there's the question of, well, why should I do this without my partner? And and that's the, that that is a very valid question. And there are times where you need to do the work, the work with your partner. Hundred mm -hmm. percent. What's been your experience of doing this without your partner? And like, what, from your how do I want to say this? From your lens and from your experience so far, like, what do you see as even some of the benefits in the context of your unique situation of doing this without him? The real big men are simple. Mm -hmm. It's really they are simple. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying women are complicated either, is that women, my gosh, we've been, you know, men weren't taught to go inward, they were taught to do. And, and so there's a whole category, you know, there that we're not gonna really go, but but us women, like we're taught to, but we're, we're connecting pain. Yeah. We're not connecting to the life force, we're connecting to pain and expressing pain and, and it creates more pain in our, our, our yes. love life. Yes. Men are like doers. So what do you want me to do? <laughs> yeah. How do you want me to solve it? I don't know where I'm going, you know, <laughs> whereas now it's like when I started connecting and it's so funny because here's what I, any coaches out there, you could be teaching this and you know this, but an embodiment is a whole different game. Yeah. And I started embodying stuff in your, in your program. Again, we can go very, very, very deep. And what happened is that started to shift my entire being. Mm -hmm. being controls thoughts thoughts controls emotions emotions controls actions actions controls the results mm -hmm. my being was of let's go inward to pain mm -hmm. and express pain and then complain of the results mm -hmm. the results are painful i wonder why right and so my entire being started to really transform mm -hmm. just working on myself where i started connecting pain is a beautiful thing because it rockets desires right but it's like, be okay with the pain. And you give so much space to allow us to express the pain because we're not even given permission to express it out there because we're bad, it's horrible. God forbid we cry, right? But so we allow ourselves to go there and it's so beautiful what happens in your program. It's like, okay, so we connect to the pain and we express the pain and we feel safe in expressing it. And all of a sudden it's like, you see the women start like feeling lighter. And all of a sudden there's these rockets of desires, right? That starts to shoot, which is the magic, which is the soul, which is the expression that they want that's the expression you want to communicate to your husbands and so now I do express okay here's a bit of the pain because it's important to be true to what's happening but the pain you don't want you want to be able to connect to the desire that comes from the yes. pain and yes. communicate that so we're sharing like oh I got I hit this and it didn't feel good however this is what I would love Yes. Oh my gosh. Like now men are doers and they're like, well, I, I, I want to do something that you love. Yeah. And then they feel so good in the doing and they, they know what they're, do you know what I mean? To the point where 
my husband like and I are now like we had all these this beautiful knowledge and everything else and we knew that we were here to help unite people but it was like and you helped with that little like it seems so small I know it's so small. if I can just say you, you we have been so programmed to value things that mean nothing, mm -hmm. value big things, but it's the little micro changes that creates big, big, beautiful changes that you're waiting for. We're waiting for these big changes, but we're not changing the micro things. And it's the micro things that changes the big things that just has your, takes your breath away. And the fact too, is that by changing it in a way that felt in that too, you, you don't, you help people connect to like, themselves like it's okay the pain who are you from that pain and then that is being expressed which is a desire now you you give like okay how about you try this or try that in expressing it because this is another thing communicating this to mm -hmm. the opposite sex when we have been conditioned i'm gonna face it anybody here that's very advanced the matrix has conditioned women and men not to communicate yeah. I've seen it in thousands of boardrooms because I did it for 25 years yeah. and I've worked with thousands of entrepreneurs, mainly men. And I obviously was part of the wrong communication too for many, many years <laughs> to understand that, that what went wrong. But I also was part of when we did go well and really we're, con we're conditioned to not even hear each other, to yeah. not. And if we can, this has helped me really, really unleash so much power in that area yes to help unite the communication and so your courageous communication mm -hmm. programs like was all kind of part of it anyway in the inner yeah. circle yeah and it was like these little pieces like I said I know but I hadn't embodied it yes I didn't do the work for myself and it's so important because now that I've embodied it I can communicate it with my own branding, my own identity, and yeah. it's so unique. And it's, yeah, it's so powerful. And you're gonna be coaching coaches now too, I hear. It's coming, it's coming. You have to, <laughs> oh my goodness, well, okay, you got to. Not yeah. to not well, I shouldn't say you got to, you don't got to do anything. <laughs> I mean, considering the, like, honestly, $110,000 I have spent in the last year, and this right here, like if I had to choose the number one, like this one was like, at the top, like by far, because, and it's so funny because most of them were the doing. <laughs> there were a lot of doing coaches, right? And I'm attracted, I was attracted to masculine coaches. And then I'm like, then you wonder why you're overtired, overworking, everything else. And there's nothing wrong with it. We need a good balance. Totally. But we tend to like not value the feminine, it's sad. It's like, I was so drawn to the feminine. Like even these feminine coaches that that like showed more ease, it was almost like, whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, do I really want to believe that? No, the essence of me is like, no, you want simplicity. Right. You want flow. Right. You, want, you don't want processes and procedures and number crunching. Stop, Natalie. But you keep attracting that in your life instead of, getting back to the core of this authenticity that lives within you and express it with ease. And when I do, it's like you're, you attract so many people in your lives just by expressing your life force. But yet we're so afraid. We're so, well, we're not even afraid. Like we're, it's like we're repelling the very people out there. Yes. That are, we're not being ourselves. We're going to attract all mixed energy right? Like if it's not our truth, it's, it's the all mixed energy, right? Even the women, when they're calling in love, I'm like, I know you are afraid to show yourself, but you, you, you cannot attract the people who are meant for you when you are not being yourself. Like you just, it's just law. It's just how it works. Yeah, we attract who we are, right? Um, and, and who are being, I guess, because <laughs> I don't know, I wouldn't say who we are, because um, who are being is often not who we are. Mm -hmm, exactly right and yeah. so and it's interesting because when I met Kevin like there was a big I remember it like I would tell you like there was a big part of me that was like run away no this is wrong and then but I, I couldn't stop like I couldn't stop looking at him I couldn't stop staring at him and I could feel this expanding but paradigm like I had a headache I had 
Like it was just so bad. And so it made sense that in a relationship that the paradigm would keep coming. And you think the paradigm's like, oh, well, she's good now. I'm going to give up. I'm just going to die. No, it kept coming back, trying to sabotage it over and over and over again like constantly right so I'm curious for those who are like who really need the like you know give me something to hold on to and and if it's not accessible to you right now that's totally okay too but are there any really and I know there are but if they're like if they're there for you to share right now like what are some of the tangible like shifts between in your life in your being and in your relationship with with your partner well, the channels have become so like, I'm so excited to share with you what I'm like developing right now. Um, and they're so me, mm -hmm. like the me that I never dared to be. Yeah. And so before I was like more like the traditional goddess kind of looking. So I'll start with the business yeah. um, and then I'll like yeah. mom, I have all these different. Yeah. Because this one's fresher because I was working on it this morning. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm also like a generator and a magician. Yeah. And yet the goddess within was never supposed to look like the truth. And I, I'd always look at it and I'm like, that's not kind of the goddess I was talking about. This wasn't the image I have, but it's not really out there because we're all very unique, right? And the funny thing is now it's like, oh my goodness, to see it. So it's a half mask that goes like this. And it has like, you know, kind of like that magician flair, but that sexual, because the sacral is very sexual transmutation of energy is what I'm all about. And I go in the depths of it. And so it's a sexual fear, feel, whereas yeah. before I feared it, yeah, I, I felt safer to be the, the traditional looking goddess, right? Because traditional, everybody is, does it, so it's safe. Whereas this one is like very magical looking. Yeah. It's like Alice in Wonderland kind of Yay. magical flair, magician, but with very a lot of sex appeal. And so that like that connection, that little thing that we all say, oh, what, what could that change in my life? We are talking about like everything in me knows that these programs, like six figure months is something I've 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 done many times. I'm I'm like can see huge seven figures in this. And so, and, it, and it, it, whether it does or doesn't, that's the cool thing. It's like, I don't care. Right. <laughs> it's so me and it's so fun. And all my people that want to embrace it with me and fall in this magic with me, like, but I do, I was hiding all of this power. And I see these women in the group, right? They're hiding their power. They're hiding their gifts because where we, this life force that we're avoiding and we're never stepping into and we're speaking from pain instead of life force, and it, it holds, it unlocks everything. So when I started changing stories, stories with my man, stories about my kids, stories about my work, stories about money, mm -hmm. and you've allowed us to go very, very deep. Mm -hmm. Do you realize every story you change, you unlock like, like at least 20 years of wisdom? Mm -hmm. Like literally, like every story that I changed in your group, it was like, and, and this is, do you, I'm sorry, but education means nothing without wisdom. Wisdom is everything. It is the very light that we're looking for. And it's locked inside of us, but it's behind a freaking story. And I have so many stories. So even with Kevin, like the magnetic couple code that we're creating together, it's like, where do you think that came from? It's the, it's the unlocking the stories that I had about him and me, yeah. like, oh, and that's what you help people do. And then oof, the wisdom that come out with these women in your group, like, right. The minute they change their story, it's like, holy Nothing. cow, mm -hmm. exactly that there, right there. There's the magic. There's the power. <laughs> there's the beauty. Right. So how the, with my children, right. Like, mm -hmm. and, and like Sophia and um and also I love that. your daughter's name is Sophia I can't help but love that <laughs> like I I like with my daughters because I was that mom that was very busy and I worked and it was like you know well god forbid I have money paradigms gotta give my children and everything yeah. you know um but it and you helped me see the energy behind it uh -huh. and again I could know this stuff but I'm emotionally involved with my life 
I'm yeah. emotionally involved. Exactly. We need yeah, to I can't see, right? right? I can't see. <laughs> mm-hmm. And so again, the right questions and you're like, but what's the energy behind that? And then it's so funny because I was asking that question. I went to Mexico with Erica and Erica's like, so funny. she's 13 years old. She's like, I could feel a channel. I'm like, Ooh, what's the channel, right? And she's, I thought she was making fun of me, but anyway. <laughs> I feel this I feel like, oh, the channel is by me. I can feel, I can feel this energy. energy. There's something coming to me. Let me just let, let me just feel it. And I'm gonna. She's asking me questions, and I'm finding it like really cute. And then she says, "It was so powerful." She says, "I feel. I'm feeling that you're so afraid of having money paradigms that you don't realize it's a money paradigm." To just throw money at everything. Mm, wow. So mind you, I don't want to. It's like I don't know why I'm actually admitting this because I kind of like it that you do. Right? <laughs> He's like, I kind of like it that you throw money at us. <laughs> and I thought the more that I'm opening, the more that I'm allowing, the more that I'm so authentic with my girls. Like, oh, mommy, kind of. That was an old paradigm of mommy. Yeah. It's not yours. Like I'm actually saying, this is not yours. Yeah. Really. That's giving them and then they release it they're releasing it right away you're right this isn't mine yeah right? releasing and releasing oh, it. incredible wow. that they're now channeling things like sophia i was doing a workshop and magicians as you know if they get too serious there is no magic so she's right. a comedian and she's like i'm like oh it just doesn't feel like it, it it was right and she she looks at me and she's like can i show you something i'm like yeah she shows me her tiktok she said, you see how it's, it's fun and people are laughing. Do something like that, mommy. <laughs> right? And I'm like, <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so amazing. Like, like that my children are opening up to their own gifts, their own, because I'm allowing, I'm allowing myself, the shadow and the light within myself to express. Receiving means receive the shadow and the light we do this god i want a million dollars and then we get the gift from god and we open it up and we're like and it's the shadow part and we're like i don't want this right so we don't god already knows you want the gifts all right yeah. but you gotta accept receive also yes the growth part of it yes and we don't right we get like ah no. and i feel like there's a lot of that that again, I know, but I wasn't embodying. And so this opening and this allowing and this true nurturing of, ooh, I like this kind of nurturing because I'm not holding. I'm not bringing the home the bacon and cooking it too. Yes. And then also with, with Kevin, mm-hmm. allowing his expression to flow yes. through the business, which I wasn't allowing because of my controlling, I'm the queen, uh i'm and i remember you saying to me natalie listen to me you are not a money making machine (laughs) and i'm like and you could tell there was something i hit because it didn't feel good but it felt good you know (laughs) there was two like it hit home right and i had to ponder about that because that's what i I wasn't allowing i wasn't inviting i wasn't and here he's working on this is how men do it and it's a more like, because a lot of women say that men are not into personal growth. And Kevin's like, yes, they are. Speak their language and watch how they're growing. They're not close-minded. Mm-hmm. They're close to how you're speaking about it. Yes, yeah. but they're not. So he's got this, whole, it's all coming out of him because there's this me receiving and opening and allowing and just giving space mm-hmm. for things to happen. Mm-hmm. That's what I, that was my human design. It's just, to allow space so that magic can happen. But I wasn't because my paradigm was so like, it has to happen this way, not allowing enough magic to come into my life. Whereas I give a space for my clients to create magic. What about me? <laughs> I was in the right here, I'm hearing this like massive release of control, massive. And you uh, like, whoever watching is, you're not even getting that like, the magnitude of the release of control that you have allowed over the last few months. <laughs> like, I don't know that there's any way for anyone watching in this short time to get to what extent you have released control. 
Oh my God. Like it's, that's why I said to you, I'm like, man, you should build like one for like just the alpha woman mm. because you bring balance. Mm. You just bring balance. It's, it's, you know, I've, my mom, I grew up in an environment where my dad was the dominant and, and not the good dominant, right? The, the negative, there's a negative dominant and then there's the beautiful love dominance. She was the negative dominant and my, my mom was a negative submissive. Mm -hmm. Guess what Natalie decided? I know freaking away, I'm being a doormat. Right. I'm going to be, right? And so yeah. started creating an entire world around it while carrying a lot. And then going like this with the masculine and then calling it inequalities in that. Yeah. I almost wrote a book, inequalities don't exist, ladies, because we are going head to head with our masculine and it's just not working for us, you know? And so, and I, and I had to do it in order to experience it. I had enough like in the boardroom to see it and all that other stuff to experience it. But what you did is you brought a component of that feminine essence that especially in the corporate world especially working with so many men which i love by the way there are so much beautiful experiences but somewhere i made the decision to drop the feminine right and to only embrace the masculine in everything i do yes. to the point where i was ready well i had a nervous breakdown yeah so you brought this like new perspective and allowed me to embrace the, the feminine within myself. And in a way that it, there's no like any, there's nothing carved in stone or like there's no set program in the box. That's the thing. Like you just, what does that look like to you? It's like, it's this questioning so that I can open it up because obviously for me that the feminine is, would look different than and it's supposed to mm -hmm. it is supposed to be different for all of us mm -hmm. and and then that and when it feels good right the heart starts to expand and when it doesn't feel good as you know like the mind's got the wrong idea or concept and the heart's like <laughs> not the right one and so I really played with that and you allowed us to do that and to express and then I'd say things I'm like no no it's not that <laughs> mm -hmm. you know so I don't even know if this is making any no. sense <laughs> this, is, this is so um, this is all from the heart I know um, I, I would have been able to express the old Natalie would have been like no it's gotta be perfect <laughs> right. Right. Quotes, all this stuff let's be right whereas now it's like this is perfection mm -hmm. this is perfection just mm -hmm. the, the feeling like the the expression of who we really are is perfection, is a breath of fresh air out there. Um, makes it okay for all of us to be human because we can't transcend. I see people try and transcend beyond being human all the time. And I'm like, but you're not okay being human. So you gotta be okay being human. We're, we're, we're here to be human. Yeah. If you could just summarize, like even in the line, what your experience of school like how would you know if, if you were describing school of love's inner circle to someone or it was your program and you were describing it like how you might describe it and who you would say it's for yeah i'd be so curious um for myself you know yes it, it would definitely this is definitely and again this high profile, these corporate women, executive women mm -hmm. will look at this and they're the first one to say, no, no. And I'm telling you right now, that is your paradigm blocking you mm -hmm. from what your soul is craving. Because see, I was in the corporate world and I would say no, no, no to this, but secretly look at fashion and really wanting to be like so sexy in my body. And at the time I was struggling with my body and feeling like wanting that love life you know that exciting love life all these things that the feminine the, the feminine desire within me was calling me mm -hmm. and yet it was like and then I would daydream a bit and then close it all right all right guys we're ready yeah. to do blah 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 blah, blah. And, and you know let's 
<laughs> and then I became an athlete. If that, like, talk about masculine energy. So third place on world stage, yes. I have a rich, achieved a lot. So it's not to say the masculine energy in the doing, you don't achieve a lot. The problem is we get so obsessed with the there. Yeah. The there, and then the next there, and then the next there, and the next there, to the point where we wake up one day and we're like, what is the point of this? Yeah. And those theirs are, look, I mean, that's icing on the cake, but it was never, it was supposed to be icing on the cake, not the cake. Yeah. Not the cake. Yeah. Icing on the cake, not the cake. The cake was supposed to be the expression of the feminine, of the soul, of who we are. That's the fun stuff. That's the juicy stuff. That's a, even if I don't get this dream, I'm having freaking a lot of fun. Right. This is the problem, but I was like sacrificing myself. Yeah, I'll use it. Sacrifice, because it is a sacrifice. Sacrifice to become third place on world stage because I got to have that medal and then I have the medal and it's like, now what? Mm -hmm. I bulldoze through how many people? My family is a wreck. Um, there's, there's so much that we don't realize that comes to with like um, driven women controllers, whatever you want to call them, they're the controllers, the leaders, the driven women. We have to admit that we sacrifice relationships for the results. Mm -hmm. And think about it. We're not just sacrificing the relationship with others. We're sacrificing the relationship with our body. We're sacrificing the relationship with ourself. Mm -hmm. We're sacrificing our relationship with, there's a relationship to everything. Relationship and how you do one thing is how you do everything. Mm -hmm. And so those women are the ones that need this so badly because if they did this, what they're about to, to like what they're about, they're doers. There's no problem. They're going to do. They, they're doing based on a being that's not connected. Mm -hmm. But if they were connected to their being and then the doing happened, mm -hmm. holy cow watch out world right so but again their paradigms mm -hmm. are stronger than a lot of the other women out there when it comes to the feminine oh i don't need that mm -hmm. no let's let's observe and i love tony robbins don't get me wrong all these men out there are amazing but we are dying to connect to the feminine and express it but meanwhile we're hiring people that don't you know they're they, unless you're a woman that learned how to connect to that being how do you like, you like they don't that. know they don't know how to bring us there and think about think about that energy in relationship with a man and when you want that man to take a certain like stance in the relationship and to hold a certain masculine energy and to show up for you but you're like you're constantly so far forward there is no space for him like I was doing, right? I wasn't allowing space yeah. for him. To but now there's it. space for him. Now there's all this space, like more than space. It's like, oh my goodness. Like I'm working on something really big and I'm not even ready yet. Yeah. And I'm enjoying this like relaxed stage of just allowing mm -hmm. and just allowing the magic to happen. And it's so interesting. Like my old self would have been like, well, if I don't, like, then the bills don't get paid and this don't get paid and that doesn't, right? Whereas now it's like, no, actually, I'm always well taken care of mm -hmm. all the time. And it's true. I am. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's just, mm. it's very, like, it truly is, feels like I'm finally stepping into um, that magical place that was always living in me that I am the magician, but I was not expressing it, not wanting to go there because I wasn't allowing any room for it. And then I was wondering, like, why is these clients like achieving even more than I am? Right. But meanwhile, and I remember uh, also that spiritual in Colorado said that too. And he's like, if you followed the truth that you channel, oh, Mm -hmm. it'd be pretty powerful and right it's, away I was like oh yeah because the channels are not just for people they're for us right like, of course <laughs> probably first and foremost right I think it like the what I'm really hearing and 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 we'll we'll wrap it here to respect your time and just anybody watching what I'm really hearing is 
this has been like a true embodiment journey. Like it's not about, and I love that. And I love that because inner circle is for a woman who already knows some things and knows a lot of things and, you know, is wise and doesn't have a bad relationship, but like, it is time for her to embody a new way of being, a new way of showing up, a new way of showing her love, a new way of receiving love. And then that, the ripple effect of that is so beautiful, so perfect. I just want to say thank you. I want to say thank you. I enjoy and no one, you'll, you'll thank me if you actually get involved. In I'm telling you, this is um like I said my paradigm had thoughts about well how is this really going to change anything and I just followed my sacral that was very loud that said absolutely and I said yes and this ended up being and you know what it was the smallest investment I made mm -hmm. you realize that like mm -hmm. if you all think that this is a lot of money mm -hmm. um where I'm going now this right here was by far the, like what you can build from a place of being in authenticity, it just would blow you away. Why are we avoiding it? Why are we avoiding that connection? And I did it, so I'm not judging. <laughs> I did it for most of my life. But if you can feel my energy and just trust there's a part of you that's being pulled towards this, um, yeah. Just trust it. That's all I can say. And watch the magic within your life happen. Yeah, it's just, and it starts with us. It really does. It does. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. It's awesome. Take care, everyone. Take care, everyone. <laughs>